Over here in sunny California during the 1960s, the drummer who drove the flagship band of the Summer of Love was John Densmore of The Doors. You know, it doesn't matter how you play it. If you end together, people that's think, right. wow, that's some good shit. Yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa. The Doors may have been psychedelic pioneers, but their bags were packed with heavy jazz. While Jim Morrison lounged all sultry at the front of the stage, John Densmore and the band had their heads deep into advanced harmony over crisp staccato rhythms. It's pretty clear that there were more diverse ingredients than usual in The Doors. I think you, I've heard you describe yourself as a jazz drummer. Would you think that The Doors were a jazz band? No, not a jazz band, but definitely jazz influence. You're, you're the jazz I mean, thing. You know, I, we, Light My Fire had seven-minute solos. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, illegal. One of the most profound influences on John Densmore was jazz drummer Elvin Jones. In the 1960s, Elvin spent six years playing with saxophonist and composer John Coltrane. It was a Moses parting the waves scale of event in the jazz universe. It sounded like he was going to fall into the kit, but he didn't. It, like he was always on the edge Sort of, like, oh my God. Which keeps your attention, because you're feeling. Oh, uh, uh, uh. And uh, I just <sighs> couldn't get enough. Elvin had raw power combined with an electric sophistication that lit Coltrane right up. Their mysterious conversations were entirely unpredictable, and they took music into uncharted territory. I saw Coltrane as a kid, and he'd turn around and he'd face Elvin, and for 20 minutes, yeah. They'd have this conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. Now and then I'm going to have a conversation with Jim. With somebody, I yeah. mean, direct. Densmore was inspired by this call and response aspect of Elvin and Coltrane's improvisation to form an equally exciting musical relationship with Jim Morrison. That you seem to be listening more to the vocal than the bass, because there wasn't one. <laughs> Like, what have you done to our fair sister, drag her? And you're right there. You stop the rhythm. Well, I'm following the words. Exactly. Uh, what have they done to the earth? <laughs> what <laughs> have <laughs> they done to our fair sister? <laughs> Stuck her with knives on the ah, side of the dun. Yeah. Tied her with fences. <laughs> Dragged her down. <laughs> and then I start the groove again. I don't know why. Because I, I, I was following Jim, and I just went crazy. I think the jazz world influenced us to have the nerve to uh, right the end, which was 10 minutes. Music's yeah. over is 10 or 11 minutes. We were experimenting with then legal psychedelics. Yeah. And so we were expansive. And the songs were expansive. And then they made it legal, and you just cut that stuff right out. 